Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over how to calculate the acceleration due to gravity. Now, most people know, or you should already know, that the acceleration due to gravity on this Earth or near the surface of the Earth is actually 9.81 meters per second squared. That's G, that's the abbreviation for the acceleration due to gravity. And on the Earth's surface, the acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared. And in this video, I'm going to show you how, to, how we get that number and how we can calculate the acceleration due to gravity for other places in the solar system, etc. Okay, so here we go. Now, you remember in a previous video, I showed you how to calculate the weight of a person on Earth. And we did that using two different equations. First, we used Newton's second law, F equals ma, which we write for weight, Fg, the force of gravity, equals the mass, the person, which I've designated mass 2, because the Earth is going to be mass 1, times g. And this is the value that we're going to derive in this video. Now, we also calculated the weight using Newton's law of universal gravitation, which says that the force of gravity between two objects is equal to the gravitational constant times the mass of one object, for example, the Earth, times the mass of the other object, for example, the person at the surface of the Earth, and uh, then the square of the distance between those two objects. Okay? Now, when we did that, we got the same value, just about 736 newtons using this equation and using this equation. That means that these two equations are equal to each other, and I'm just going to set them equal to each other. Okay, so I set m2g is equal to, or Newton's second law is equal to uh, the law of universal gravitation. Now, in this equation, m2 and this m2 are the same m2. It's the mass of the person, which in this case is 75 kilograms. Now, we have an m2 on the left-hand side of this equation, and we have a left, an m2 on the right-hand side of this equation, and that means that we can cancel those two values out. So we can cancel m2 and m2, and that just leaves us with our equation that we use to calculate the accelerated due to gravity, which is g is equal to the gravitational constant, which we write with a capital G, times m1, which is the mass of the planet, divide, divided by the square of the distance between the two objects, or really the square of the distance for which we're trying to calculate, or where we're trying to calculate the acceleration due to gravity. And in this case, m1 is the Earth's mass, 5.97 times 10 to the 24th kilograms, and r, now you might think, in a sense, that r, that r is zero because the person is right at the surface of the Earth. But we want to calculate the acceleration due to gravity at the surface of the Earth, and the distance we use is from the center of mass of the object, which is the center of the Earth. And in this case, since we want to calculate it at the surface of the Earth to the surface of the Earth. And that distance is really the radius of the Earth, and the radius of the Earth is 6,371 kilometers, give or take, okay? So g is the acceleration due to gravity. This is the gravitational constant, 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 Newton meters squared, kilogram squared times the mass of this kind of the central object around which we're trying to calculate the acceleration due to gravity, and the distance from the, the square, divided by the square of the distance from the center of that object to the point at which we want to calculate the acceleration due to gravity. So we're just going to put those values into this equation. And g is equal to, now we said the, the gravitational constant is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 newton meter squared kilogram squared times the mass of the central object which in this case is the mass of the Earth, divided by the square of the distance away from the center of the mass of that object for which we're trying to calculate the acceleration to gravity, which again, that's at the surface of the Earth. So this is the radius of the Earth. Now you'll notice I converted the radius from kilometers into meters because the constant has the units, the distance in meters. So that's 6.371 times 10 to the 6 meters squared. If you put all those numbers in there in your calculator, you get that g at the surface of the Earth is 9.81 meters per second squared. Now we can once again just show we can calculate the weight because we can. This is how we calculate the weight. We know g. We multiply it times the mass. The mass being 75 for a 75 kilogram person, and a 75 kilogram person would weigh 736 newtons, or the force of gravity between the Earth and that person would be 736 newtons. Okay. And I want to point out a couple things about this equation. 
This is the equation we use to calculate the acceleration due to gravity. This is the constant. This is the mass. So the g is directly related to the mass of the central object. The greater the mass, the greater the acceleration due to gravity. But it's inversely proportional to the square of the distance away from the center of the mass of that object. So as r increases, or as we get farther away from the center of mass, then g is going to decrease. All right? So uh, this is the equation we're going to use. We calculated it for Earth. So now let's do the next obvious thing, which let's calculate the acceleration due to gravity on the moon. Now it's the same equation. G acceleration, mass of the central object, which is the mass of the moon. And R is the radius, again, the distance away from the center of mass of the moon, which is the radius of the moon. So we're going to calculate the acceleration due to gravity at the surface of the moon. Just put the values in. G is still 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. M1 is the mass in kilograms. R, which we're going to square, is the distance in meters. And we just multiply those two and divide, and we get that the acceleration due to gravity on the moon, or at the surface of the moon, is 1.62 meters per second squared, which is about one-sixth what it is on the Earth. Now, we can calculate the weight of that same 75 kilogram person. Remember that kilograms is the mass. To get the weight, you take the mass and you multiply it using Newton's second law, which we have right up here, I put up here again, times the acceleration due to gravity. The mass times the acceleration due to gravity would take the 75 kilograms. And you'll see that on the moon, a person who would weigh 736, I think it was, newtons on the Earth, only weighs 122 newtons on the moon. But the mass is the same. It's the same 75 kilograms, just the acceleration due to gravity is less, less gravitational attraction because basically the moon is smaller and has less mass. All right, so uh, let's see. Now let's do one more. We can also calculate the acceleration due to gravity of objects that are above the surface of planets. So this is for the International Space Station. Here's a picture of the International Space Station. The International Space Station orbits the Earth at a height of about 559 kilometers. We're gonna use the same equation. We gotta change it around a little bit because r is not just r, r has to be the radius of the Earth plus the height that the object is away from the center, excuse me, plus the height that the object is above the surface of the Earth. r plus h is the total distance that the object is away from the center of mass of the Earth, which is at the center of the Earth. Okay, so we're just going to add those two together and then square. So we get g, the acceleration due to gravity, at a height above the surface of the Earth is, again, the gravitational constant times the mass of the Earth. It's the mass of the central object, which is the Earth. Now, it's orbiting the Earth above the Earth's surface. So I converted to meters. I just added this and this, converted to meters, the radius and the height above, orbital height. And you get 6.93 times 10 to the 6 meters squared. And if you do that, you get that g at a height of 559 kilometers above the Earth is not 9.81, but 8.29 meters per second squared. So the International Space Station is being accel accelerated around the Earth, but it's at a value less than 9.81, which is, is, is at the surface. Okay? So there you go. We kind of did an explanation. We did three different examples, showed you how to calculate the acceleration due to gravity using this equation. Okay, I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please do all of the following three things. Subscribe to my channel. Give me a nice thumbs up. No, give me a thumbs up and give me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.